So this is the karate brown belt. Notice he's wearing a black belt. He's not a black belt, okay? He just... I guess the Fight Club only had a black belt for him. He didn't wear his brown belt. So the original video says Maron. That's why I know he's a brown belt. So Karate Guy's hands are a little bit low. I think partly because he's afraid this MMA guy's going to take him down. Or it's just how he spars. You just never know with karate. So this MMA guy is Muay Thai based, but he's done a lot of stuff, including jiu-jitsu and capoeira. So, uh-oh. Wow, they did not elect to stay in the clinch range. I guess the MMA guy is going to start. Uh-oh. Dude, karate guy just gave up his back trying to do... So that's ground and pound. Um, karate guy just gave up his back trying to do a spinning back fist, man. That was not smart. So, karate guy leading with his face, but also trying to do punch combos. Trying to do what's called a gancho, a hook kick. God, you can't just return. There you go. Combos, combos, combos. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ooh. I guess there is not too much clinch fighting in karate, huh? For those of you who do your various styles of karate, you know, Japan's got a long martial arts history, so I would assume there's going to be one karate style that does clinch fighting, right? Oh, that was a pretty good combo. Chin too high, but that was a pretty good combo. He used the... Ouch, he definitely ate that kick. Karate guy says he's okay. Karate brown belt. That looks like a brown belt. That's not a black belt. There was so much debate. Dude, you should honestly quit while you're ahead, man. No more. No more. Come on, you already showed that you could lay in a few strikes. Sure, there's holes in your game. Ooh, see, he's flinching. This is really bad. But sometimes it's ego. Sometimes it's just unawareness. It's not always ego. It's lack of awareness. You don't know that you've already taken some hard shots, man. No more. Oof. He does not know how to deal with this constant forward pressure. There's not a lot of lateral step. I don't know why. Is that how karate sparring is? There's just a lot of um, like enter and exit, but not a lot of sort of pivots and all that stuff. Let us know. So, nice. See, the karate guy's able to connect once, right? But the issue is you got to do more. You got to do more once you connect. And so far, the karate guy just doesn't know what to do after he connects with that one jab. His punches also lack the follow-through that the Muay Thai guy has. So, yeah, lots of good lessons, man. Lots of good lessons, people. Karate guy with a body jab. I mean, at least he's throwing jabs. But, man, the Muay Thai guy's just pressing forward like a Muay Thai guy. How do you deal with this pressure, basically? And karate guy doesn't know how. Look at his face right from being punched. Still a valiant effort, man. Oof, see, uh, he flinching, uh, flinching. <laughs> Karate guy decides he's tired. <laughs> Get more comfortable because he thinks that's going to help. But honestly, he's probably a little concussed. That's why he's overheating. One of the signs that something's wrong with your body is if you overheat, right? So he's probably a little concussed. He doesn't realize it. Oof. Little kick to the body followed by a punch that the karate guy doesn't know how to deal with. Yeah, this is the point where it should stop. And they stopped it. Good stoppage. So the guy who uploaded this video actually created his own analysis. The issue is it's in Spanish. But for Spanish viewers, if you want to see it, go ahead and check out the link. I will have both his original video and the analysis linked in the end cards and the description. Okay, guys, thank you so much. This is Fight Commentary Breakdowns. I become so